The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 854 pounds, Ross Roberts, Sean Marie, and David Adrian. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top stars set to compete here in this one. They're definitely top stars, Michael. I'd agree there. But they're also some of the most explosive personalities WWE has seen in a very long time, which should add an extra element of fun to this one. You are looking at perhaps WWE's most dominant faction ever. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Roman Reigns, three workhorses that run this industry. In one night at Money in the Bank 2016, all of these men were WWE champion. The lunatic, the big dog, and the architect reunited. Here we go again, three on three action Jeez. underway now. to the top rope. High impact crossbody. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. Byron, let's say you're in there with Roman Reigns. What's your strategy to take down the big dog? Well, thankfully, I'm here next to you, Michael, and not in the ring with Reigns, but to answer your question, I would try to catch him by surprise. It definitely worked for Sheamus at the Survivor Series in 2015. Byron brought up Sheamus' victory over Roman Reigns in Survivor Series, but to be fair, we should point out that match happened because Sheamus cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. Hey, that strategy worked for Seth Rollins at WrestleMania just a few months earlier. But Brock Lesnar showed you can surprise Reigns in the middle of a match, like when he plucked Roman out of a spear and into an F5 to beat the big dog in the main event of WrestleMania 34. I don't know how I 
feel about Seth Rollins lately, guys. Seth wanted to be great. He wanted to be the man, and he had no reservations in how he achieved that. But now, it looks like he's lost some of that edge. This might be it! Oh, my! What a strike! Corey, I would have to disagree with the notion that Seth has lost his edge. Rollins still wants to be great and still wants to be the man. But now he is doing it face to face. Look, the biggest difference between the Seth of the past and the Seth now is that he's not stabbing people in the back. He's atoning for his sins and confronting the competition head on. Trap the arm. Rollins in some trouble here. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Took him out at the knee! Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. The end may be new. Nasty impact. Oh, it's over. Seth Rollins is in trouble. Incredible. Did you see the impact on that? Wow. Shot block. Here's a cover. What an amazing six-man tag match. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. And there was no question about that one. Now that's having a game plan and executing it to perfection. That's one of those personal WrestleMania moments and memories that will last a lifetime. I'm so glad we all got to be a part of it.